Welcome everyone and hello to this new video. I will show you how to install Splunk Linux Universal for Worker. So let's start the action. First you need to go to splunk.com, log into your account, then free Splunk. Scroll down to Universal for Worker section, here is it. Download now from this tabs you can choose the uh, operating OS for me it's Linux and we have the AIX version here you have Mac Windows and FreeBSD and Solaris for me for Linux distributions if you are using CentOS you will choose the RBM if you are choosing Debian DEB and you can take the a uh, zipped version of the universal forwarder also so i will download the rbm and copy it to your linux server we need also the add-on for the linux so you need to go to splunkpeas.com and go search for linux here Go to this one. This one is for performance monitoring. This one for the logs or the security events. And we have the app for Linux. So today we only we will talk only about the add-on. Later on we might talk about the uh, app. So you can go here and log in to download the uh, add-on. You can see here's the version here's the details you can go to the documentation overview here you can check the supported uh, versions of Splunk CIM it support the Splunk Enterprise IT service and Splunk Cloud so I will download this add-on also to be used on the Linux server that I will forward the logs from it to my Splunk instant after the download finished or completed successfully, we will go to install Splunk add-on first on our Splunk instant. We'll go to the apps, install app from file. I will choose the add-on and click the upgrade app just in case and upload. If the system asks you to set up we will set up it later unless you need to monitor your Splunk instant as a Linux server. Then we will uh, extract the add on. Okay, to be copied, we will copy only this one. Also, it must be extract. We need only this folder, this folder to be covered to the uh, Splunk. So we will copy Splunk TA underscore NIX and the RBM package. After the, after copying the files to the, your target Linux server, we need to go to cd temp ls as you can see i copied this folder splunk underscore ta underscore nix and here is the universal forwarder so first we will let's set up the universal forwarder by issuing the command rbm minus i v h and splunk and enter Great, it's completed. Let's copy also Splunk to etc opt Splunk forwarder etc apps and enter. It's a directory, so we need minus r done. 
let's start our Splunk forwarder service. It will require a username and a password. We will set up them now. Those for this instance itself, not for the Splunk instance, it's for all the forwarder service. Great job. Now we will enable uh, Splunk to uh, start uh, automatically every uh, time the server boot. Done. As you can see, here is the command. Okay, great job. Now we need to go to Splunk, up to Splunk, let's see, system, local. This directory we can configure the outputs, where the logs will be sent. So we need to configure, but I, 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 I like to use the VI application. I don't know what type of uh, applications you, you can choose any application you want. We need to create a file named outputs.conf And here is the configuration that must be in this file TCB out, default group, TCB out and here is the Splunk instant IB And this is the port is used to send the logs to Of course we need to make sure this port is active by going to forwarding and receiving go to configure receiving it's active great job now as you can see there is nothing from this ib address i need to change the host name for this server I will name it Splunk for there. Data summary. And the host, I don't see any one. Let's configure Splunk TA. So let's go to cd slash opt splunk hc apps and splunk underscore ta nix linux <coughs> now do this you need to copy the default inputs configuration to First, you need to create a local con uh, a local uh, folder. So mkdir local and copy the default inputs conf to local inputs cd local. Here is the folder vi inputs. Now we will configure what data or what events or what logs it will be sent to Splunk instance. Here's a scripted uh, events. I don't want them. You can read them and know. This is the CPU metric. We can change it to zero. Disable equals zero. It means it's enabled. I will go down to memory, uh, to monitor, sorry. Monitor, it monitors the logs for Linux. It monitors the files. Yeah. The most, uh, the most uh, important folder to be monitored is var slash log. I will save and restart Splunk service. take 
the effect after starting the service. We'll go to data summary. And wait for a couple of minutes. Here is the IP address. Here is my server, as you can see here. It's 192.168.1.201. Uh, and it's sending the logs. I will change it to all time. Yes, here is the logs. Here is the host. Here is the date because it's uh, the time zone is uh, uh, more than my time zone. Source type. And that's it for configuring Splunk uh, Universal Forwarder for Linux.